Charles Kofi Bakna was a creative man. And the good news for creative people is that their legacies are always physical and permanent. Um, and like some of us who may do something, and by the time we go, nobody can really touch with their hands things we did. Charles's legacies are in the films that he acted in, in some plays that he acted in, in artwork that he produced, and of course, in the lives and in the minds and in the hearts of hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, all around the world who may have seen him perform at different stages. <clears throat> but on an occasion like this, we are of course celebrating his life, but we are also celebrating the relationships that he built with people from the school that he attended, St. Augustine's, who were here, with the Catholic Church where he served in various capacities, even in their educational institutions. And then of course, as a family man with his sisters and brothers and nephews and nieces, and indeed, he became a grandfather um, before he died. So it's been a good life, even though a short-lived one, because a man like him would all have wished he would get his three score and 10, which is what God tells us we are entitled to, 70 years old. He just, he didn't make that mark, but often when you don't make that mark, because God needs you in heaven. There's a lot, there are a lot of plays and musicals and other theatrical performances in heaven for which they need a director and an actor and a man with his talent. And so we are very confident that he's very well placed and he become very popular in heaven as he was on earth. Charles, I call him a brother from another mother. We went to St. Augustine together. We are both actors. We formed Talent Incorporated together. We represented Ghana at a world festival in Cuba, 1978. And we both Jimmy together. And so I, I've lost a, a part of me. He is a beautiful person. Everybody will, will remember him for his performances, especially Heritage Africa. Heritage Africa, he, he, the role he played was himself. No bro fukasa, ni behavior no. Ochida nankasa kofi bakna. And that's how people will remember him. Uh, his gentle demeanor. Uh, he, he was a man who really uh, lived so gently in whichever situation that he found himself. And then one remarkable thing has to do with the fact that uh, he, he was someone who always craved for excellence. Uh, he tells you that uh, if you have to do it, you have to do it and do it very well. And so I think that that is one thing which uh, personally uh, do ring on my mind. Uh, the, the need for us to strive for excellence is something that I so much will remember him with. He, in fact, was a passionate lover of the arts. And about perhaps 10 years ago or so, I had that sweet joy of learning from him that while they were in secondary school, I think St. Augustine's, uh, they performed some of my poems. He and colleagues like Dr. Kwesi Hindu, it was a revelation, you know, and so that is about the past. But then, in the current uh, dispensation, he was a man who contributed a great deal to the film world and to even the television world. You know, both somebody in front of the camera and behind the camera. You know, so he is a, a living model of all that a young man should aspire to imbibe and deploy in his life or her life. So it's a great loss, but then we should count our blessings that we've been privileged enough to have him be with us, be among us, and serve us. Ghana is the one that has benefited 
and the glory belongs to God. I went to Cuba as with him in 1978. We became friends from that time. Uh, I was the leader of the Ghana cultural contingent. I was a part of the political group led by Kojo Datsun. And so we became friends from then. Before we came to GTV, uh, I became a director of television. And you know, one of the things uh, he did was he brought um, this um, uh, morning show in local language. But he, that is a legacy I know. Uh, he called me one day and said, no, there must be a local language morning program. On. And really, we started it from, from there. And that's a legacy he has left for GBC. And, uh, and apart from that, um, he, he brought in a lot of innovation because Kofi is very creative. Mr. Bokna was a very... Has, was, was somebody whose creative ability was at its peak and he was a teacher and ready to to listen he's a listening director and he's a fan to work with not by way of a comedian but then when you are working with him you you realize yes you are working with somebody who understands what how people feel and all that so when you are working with him you are you are at ease and the way he talks to you when he wants to explain something to you 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 love it as if he is rather the one you are teaching and uh, like my brother said at a point in time uh, obra went to sit at home and when he became the director of tv for gbc he said, no, Obra has to come back because he believes in the local language, the local drama. So he said, no, Obra shouldn't sit at home. Obra should come back. And uh, we were happy because that is how come we see Obra on your screens till now. Yes, so Kofi Bokna was somebody who was dear to our heart.